Puppies. Bear up, darling. I love your eyelashes. Blue. Let's try this one from the top. By the way, where's that little air conditioning man? Oh, he's still working. I think he's nearly finished. Give him ten. He's earned it. All right. Oh, we have an audition. Any minute. Now, what this time? Female. Louis found her in Hollywood. Louis' girls are always female. Peter, darling. Would you mind if the door I seem to have left it locked? Oh, yes, ma'am. He's a clean-cut kid. Why don't you sit down and have a nice, long, cool drink? Hi, Louie, you slept in your clothes. Hello, Miss... Uh... uh, this is Miss Kane. Stacy Kane. Stacy, meet Peppy. You sing? Like a bird. She... You're ahead of the crowd, Louie. Take a table near the music. I'll send you a drink. Uh, Peppy, I just wanted Sit to say... Sit down, Louie. I've heard you sing. A drink? First. Thanks. And call me Stacy. I will. What would you like? Something like. I like your place. It gets better after dark. I suppose Louis told you. We close for vacation in a few days and reopen with a new show in September. He said you weren't set. True. Stacy, have you met Vincent? How are you, honey? Hello, Stacy. And Paul. Welcome. Oh, you must have been a Boy Scout. You're so kind. If you've got your arrangements, Paul will play them for you. He's no Rubenstein, but he... Have you got a scissors? Allow me. Your price tag, shall I? Well, I just got this dress. You can do better. Tell me, where were you working in California? I've never been to California. I met Louie on the plane this morning. Excuse me, my mother's calling Sit me. Sit down, Paul. Look, Stacy, I like you. I like you? Provided you're all that meets the eye. There's no reason why you should audition. We use a few girls standing around, decoration. No, thanks. I've had the chorus from Puerto Rico to Portland, Maine and Oregon. I asked to sing. Let me. Okay, fellas, let's take a break. Work something out there. Oh, no, really, Peppy. Yes, really. Well, where have you worked before? Places you never heard of. I can believe you. <laughs> Look what's biting you. I dig you. Dig me. Okay. I get your message. Choose your weapons. Incidentally, I haven't got an arrangement with me. I'll sing. <laughs> you just... Police! Arnold, I wasn't expecting you. Louis called me. Hot, isn't it? Is there a boy to watch my car? Of course. How is Washington? Hot. Why don't you sit down? I've been sitting for four days waiting for you. I told you I'd be busy. And my phone was working all that time. Oh, Arnold, if Where's you... all the excitement? She's waiting. Any time at all, I'll... Have a word with Louie. In case you're interested. I'll be in the bar. Easy now. We have a party to go to. Your friends. If you'd rather not go. Trouble? As far as the eye can reach. <laughs> Remarkable. Sit down, Peppy. A new show, I think. Can't she be ready? I'll see that she is. Tell me what you want. 
Oh, not to change her, just shine her up a bit. Mm. You know, hair, clothes, and that sort of thing. And Peppy, keep her out of trouble. You understand me? I understand you, Arnold. Let's join them. Sounds familiar. Well, sure, you're starting, Miss Kane. Some place he recommended. <laughs> well, Louis doesn't go in for stately homes. Peppy has a large and quite comfortable apartment. Oh, uh, please, have you met Miss Kane? I forget. Did I do all right, Peppy? More than. Come on, Jerry, we've got a lot to do. That was the best dinner I ever had. Just thrown together. My cook will be here in the morning. She's better than you? In the kitchen. Ask her for anything. She doubles as a maid. Make yourself at home. Music? Not just now. I like the quiet. My hair is a mess. It feels like a mop. It is. But it will be fixed. Some talk? There are some things I'd like to know. Such as? Arnold Kenyon. He isn't easy to know. Kenyon and you? A business arrangement. He has many. I run his club as I have others. Rather better, in fact. Arnold wants a certain standard in clubs and in women. The one that was with him? Felice? She's an old friend of Arnold's and mine. She used to be in pictures. What is she now? Must I draw you a map? Well, something's wrong there. She hasn't quite worked out. I only ask because I'm so anxious to get started. Take my word for it, Stacy. You are started. And a word of advice. Don't rush things. What do you mean? All I wanted to know was what... What do you propose to do? Rush across the street and pay him a call. Across the street? Oh, that, um, big building on the corner. That's a museum. Is it the townhouse next to it? Oh, there's a light on the second floor. It's probably Larry. Who's Larry? The son and heir. Then. He's a night person. You tired? A little. I feel kind of dazed. What about you? Sleep's a waste of time. Isn't it? But tomorrow promises to be busy. <laughs> if you can breathe or not. You'll wear a girdle and smile. Now that's for Peppy, Cinderella. Mind your own business. How did you live to your present age? Oh, go soak your head, Paulette. Put that down, Stacy. You'll eat and drink what I tell you to until you lose five pounds in the places where. Now listen. You listen. No, no, no. Little birds in their nests agree. Stop it this instant. Get out. Peppy, she... I saw it. Now go. Somewhere. Well? Difficult, aren't you? I don't want any more of this. You don't. 
your decision, but be sure. For days I've been running around this town like a mad woman. Shoes, hats, clothes. Walk this way, talk that way. Don't eat, don't sleep. I'm sick to death of it. All right, shove off anytime. You do want it, don't you? I'd like a cigarette and my feet up. A little more work first. One thing. Yeah? Kenyon. I haven't seen him since you have. Does he have the final say on me? He trusts me. Okay, let's run it. Angel! Sabrina! Welcome back. Oh, sweetie, how wonderful to see you. I'm just off the boat and you're the first one. You look wonderful, Sabrina. Oh, it's clean living, dear. <laughs> but, Pa, darling, do you have an extra cigarette, please? Uh, certainly, darling. But, Peppy, do let me tell you everything about the Riviera. Not in front of the children, dear. Come, I want you to meet Stacy, and I want you to see your dressing room. It's been redone. Angel, you've won my heart. No, dear. A matter of necessity. The ceiling fell in. Yes, dear, <laughs> I know. Don't go away, sweetie. I'll be right back. Au revoir. Why, hello. Hi. Stacy, this is Sabrina. I've been hearing about you. I wish I could say the same for you, dear. You will. I hear you sing rather well. I strive to please. You're kind of an artist yourself. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? This was a mistake. Let's go. Oh, do come over to my dressing room sometime. I'm just across the passage. Star I've noticed. So long. Oh, by the way, Peppy, how is Arnold? As usual. I'll be with you in a minute, Sabrina. Tired? Shot. I need a day off. Later. Did Arnold Kenyon find her? Sabrina found herself. Get along with her, please. I will. I want to swap dressing rooms with her. <laughs> We uh, have a visitor. Not allowed. The crown prince himself looking for daddy. Larry, wonderful. Darling. Peppy. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, listen, I, I hate to bother you, but uh, I can't seem to find dad anywhere. I expect he went away for a few days. He needed a rest. Can I help? Well, uh, <laughs> spot of trouble. I'm Nothing serious. Uh... Tell me, Larry. May I have a drink? First things first. Well, it's another traffic ticket. I may lose my license. And a very good thing that would be. Oh, Larry, look, someday it will be serious. Please, Peppy, no lectures. Just put me in touch with Dad, and I promise I will I'll do be... nothing of the sort for your sake. Now, Arnold's at the end of the line with you, Larry. He told me so. Dad always comes through. <laughs> Don't risk it, darling. You might have to go to work. <laughs> we'll speak to Louie. Oh, that one found under a rock. <laughs> And don't knock him, if you will. It's Peppy, darling. How are you at fixing things like tickets this lovely summer's day, huh? <laughs> ah, you're positively psychic, Louie. Yeah, he's right here. I'll put him on. And mind your manners. He's a doll, really. He's comfortable. And of course, it matches my eyes. Such a charming idea. Oh, don't you think so? A chaise lounge in my dressing room. It ought to save wear and tear on the floor. <laughs> but of course. Lawrence! Angel boy! I say, what on earth is that? That's a riding crop for Stacy's act. She's riding? This, I must see. I've knocked off work for the day. You've what? I think I pulled a muscle. Where? My left shoulder. You were all right a minute ago. Well, these things happen. I'll be in in a minute to look at it. Never mind, I can take it. I'll care. be in. 
Pepe, really, I must go now. Oh, fine, I'll call you later. I want to hear your new material. Oh, it's absolutely divine. Heavens, where's Rosemary? Where's my baby? Oh, Paul took her out to the curb. Oh, thank goodness. Wow, what a turn. Well, goodbye, Peppy. And another time, Angel Boy. Oh, and do give my love to your dear father. Bye. Something wrong? I hope not. Well, I'm all squared away with Louie. Happy as a lock. Now, may I have a drink? The bar's just open. Where are you going later? Oh, dinner eventually. Your date? Stacy. Beautiful, isn't she? Beautiful. Don't go. Hmm? Look, Larry, I mean it. It isn't wise. Is she involved with somebody else? There have been no men. She's hardly been out of my sight. Well, then. Look, Larry, I'm fond of you. Can't you take my word? Oh, Peppy, honey. <laughs> I know you mean well, but... I really like this girl. It's quite possible to like a shark out of water. Oh, I think you're afraid of losing your protege. Ah, proteges are on every corner. Look, Larry, you're a child. No, I, I don't like that talk. I don't like having to say it, but if it's the only way you'll listen, I'll... Well, I won't listen. Be... My shoulder's better. For the practice you've had, you're a poor liar. I've had a chat with Larry. I just bet you have. I know, of course, why you accepted, but it's out of the question. You can't go. I want to have some fun. I'm flesh and blood. A little too much here and there. Miracle of the week. I ought to be down to bones the way I've been knocking myself out for you. You need discipline. What have I had? Tender, loving care? For a lot longer than I like, I've been enjoying your cultivated company in that hothouse you live in. We're down here bellowing out my lungs. What I need is some fresh air. And a man. Larry isn't a man. Then I'll make him one. You leave now, and you don't come back. Finish your face. You can have a drink with Larry at the bar and make your excuses. Thanks a lot. Pepe, a crisis. I'm busy. Don't be. You wait here. Arnold, darling, the way you appear from the blue. Hi, right, Peppy. Is she ready? Look, uh, Lawrence, I'd like a word with you alone. Stay here. I have things to do. Vinny. She'll be here in a moment. Oh, thanks, Peppy. Hope Lawrence wasn't a nuisance. No, I just turned my back for a moment, that's all. Forget it, my dear. I'm glad you're here. It's time. Oh, the arrangements? Done. How about the act? You'll get your money's worth. <laughs> ah, you've done well, Peppy. I had good material. Oh, thanks, Vinny. Listen, Arnold, a word to the superwise. Just keep out of weather. Oh, good evening, Miss King. Good evening. One of life's little surprises. <laughs> what were you saying, my dear? I said run for your life, but let it pass. <laughs> You're looking uh, very well. It's an illusion. I'm a wreck, really. A drink might help. May I, fairy godmother? How would you like to be a pumpkin in the morning? Oh, I think I'll risk it. Scotch, Vinny. Right. I met one of your kin this afternoon. Oh? Oh, Lawrence, yes, he told me. He'd entirely forgotten something he had to do for me. I uh, hope you can forgive him. I'll try. Peppy gives me a good report on you. Was the leather costume your idea? Hmm, suggestion. I thought it might suit you. It does. Just got back in town, huh? Mm-hmm. Do you have plans for dinner? Oh, none. Peppy and I have begun to bore each other. <laughs> well, then, I could hardly ask both of you out, could I? Hardly. Besides, 
I think that Peppy has another appointment. Well, naturally. King Farouk and I are dining at Howard Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're stuck with me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Shall we go? Indeed. Don't wait up, Mother. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kenyon, but uh, she isn't here yet and we haven't heard from her. Yes, sir, the minute she comes in. He wonders if she's been in an accident. She may have caused one. <laughs> well, Tweety-dee and dum are one hour and 45 minutes late for rehearsal. I'm sorry. And I won't stand for it. Do you realize you've been opening in two days? I'll make it. One of your admirers has been calling you every 15 seconds. I have so many. Arnold. Mm. Call him for me, will you, and tell him I had a fitting or something? I'll change and be right with you. And I want to know where you've been. A long walk. Be careful. You may take a longer walk. Somehow, I don't think so. I'll speak to Arnold. Mother needs a lift. Merci. Who doesn't have to today? Oh, stick around, Vinny. Have a drink. Well, that was a quick change. Usually you're slower than Christmas. I'm exhausted. I want to get out of here. Vinny, give her a drink. Vinny's here to revive the weary. <laughs> I'll have just one. How'd it go, Pat? Oh, fine, but I'm beat. How is my song? I hate the sight of you, so I hate to say it. But I've never seen a better rehearsal. You might say I was proud of you. You don't have anything to worry about tomorrow night. That's what everybody keeps saying. Keep saying what? Arnold, I thought you said you couldn't come. I wouldn't miss it. Didn't Peppy tell you? That was a surprise, Arnold. What's a surprise? A small party here. Everybody in the show and a few people I'd like you to meet. Oh, well, I can't stay. I've got to get home. I'm dead for sleep. Oh, stick around for half an hour, Stacy. And then I'll drive you home. No, I can't. But the party's for you. Well, that's all very well. And I hate to be a party pooper, but I can't face it. I shouldn't even be having this drink. Good night, Peppy. Arnold, don't bother. I'll take a cab. Excuse me. Well, I guess the kid is rather beat. Hmm. Maybe. Hello, Peppy. Well. Police. Where's the vast cheering throng? We don't open till 10. What brings you to town? Love. Or money. I'm forever getting those two mixed up. How's Arnold? As usual. Look, why don't you go have a drink? I'll join you in a minute. How kind of you. I thought so. Under the circumstances. I want to see Lawrence at once in the office. Of course, honey. Perhaps we can have a drink later. I'll be around. To the troops. This is my last season. I'm buying a rocking chair and keeping a cat. Bonsoir, Peppy. Well, I've changed my mind. Who wants a cat? Not I. Angel, you look divine. But really, I must go. I can't talk to you now because I have to get ready for the show. Au revoir. Atta girl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present our own Sabrina. The show is on. All right. Have you seen Arnold? Before my song. A family conference, I believe. Well, how long does that go on? Tell me, have you by any chance made an important mistake? Oh, goodbye. Probably. There's an awful lot of wear and tear. 
playing all sides against the middle. You probably could use a friend when you really what to for. Say. What for indeed? Poor friend. Well, Arnold, I thought you'd forgotten about me. Are we here yet? Yeah, I'll find it for you. I'd like to see him at my table. Arnold. Pepe says you spoke with Lawrence. Lawrence is going to Europe for a year, possibly two. But he, well, what about school? <laughs> school will be tame after his summer in town. He's out of his element here and I'm grateful to you for making him realize that. And let me tell you, this trip was, was his own idea. My son is not so open-minded as I am. Shall I drive you home after the show? I want us to be together constantly from now on. Hippie, you've got to find him for me. Bring Lawrence here, please. Seeing you're prettiest. 